have become a grandmother right before shelter in place. My granddaughter Zoe is seven months old now. Earlier on, we could not visit her in person, but thanks to technology, we were able to see her through FaceTime regularly. She is a happy baby with an easygoing temperament. More than a month ago, Zoe's parents asked my husband and me to babysit her one afternoon every week. We were so happy to spend time with her, playing peekaboo to make her giggle, singing to her so she would move her body, or watching her exploring everything with her mouth and little fingers. Just by watching her, can fill my heart with so much joy. I found her very cute, even when she was naughty or a bit fussy. This reminds me of God's love for us. Zephaniah chapter three verse seventeen says, "The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness." God takes delight in His children because He sees us as who He created us to be, before the infection of sin. And he knows we will be restored fully to his image one day, through the salvation of Jesus. He loves me with all my weaknesses and personality flaws, and before I have done anything for him or accomplished anything, babysitting Zoe has helped me understand God's love for me. Then one day I heard Zoe was going through sleep training. That means during the night she would sleep in her crib. In her own room, instead of in the bassinet in her parents' bedroom, that also means she would cry herself back to sleep if she woke up in the middle of the night, instead of getting a midnight feeding. The following two weeks, I noticed Zoe was a bit irritable and more clinging to her parents. She cried more often and looked a bit sad to me. I was concerned about how often and how long she had cried during those long, dark nights. But I also know that sleep training is good for Zoe. In the end, it will help her form good habits and learn deferred gratification. This process made me think of times when I was in challenging situations. I prayed and prayed, but God didn't come through for me. I was puzzled. Disappointed, discouraged, and wondered whether God really cares or even exists. I know Zoe's parents did care. It's heartbreaking for them to let her cry in the middle of the night, and they wished Zoe could understand the reason of their absence. In the same way, God cares even when we feel He is absent. Recently, I am happy to see Zoe's smiling face again. She looks even more content and secure than before, because she has figured out that after a good night's sleep, her parents will always come and say good morning to her, and their love for her has never changed. Maybe the current pandemic feels like a long, dark night for us, or other struggles in life. Have made us wonder when the daylight will ever come back. Let's continue to trust our heavenly Father and walk with Jesus. Let's not give up meeting together as a spiritual family, because we have the assurance that God's purpose is to prosper us and not to harm us. If we remain in Jesus, one day we will be able to say, "My ears had heard of you." But now my eyes have seen you. Now I know what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Amen. <laughs>